So this is the Amazon water filter that I got. It's probably put under a lot of different names. It comes with a three gallon tank. And this is the label on it. Brand is Rhine something. So here's the manual. And this is what the manual claims the inside looks like and how it works. And this is what the user accessible uh, portion of this comes to. It's super easy. You just lift this up and pop the cartridge in and out. Really nice design. But I put it outside because it's leaking like crazy from the factory from this fitting right here. But I figured I would take the time to make a video of one of these since I haven't seen one uh, yet. I did take the time to test the water. The uh, water that comes out of it is at a 67. Oh. And the water from the faucet is 186. And the brine output is 270. That's showing up as like a seven parts per million, which is pretty cool considering that this is a really, really dirty bucket. But that's really, really pure. Like, and there's 240. So very cool. Now this did promise a two to one flow ratio, and that's not what we got. Um, it's actually more brine than um, pure. So it's uh, also leaking, so I really can't tell if that's valid or not. But with this leaky pump, that was the, ref that was the initial result, which is why there's two equal sized buckets there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close the valve to the tank. And it should automatically shut this uh, solenoid off. Oh wait, we gotta close this too. There we go. <laughs> it was leaking out of here. So as soon as I did this, it shuts this valve off due to this pressure sensor. And the part that's leaking is this part right here and it's just a part of the fitting. It's not something I can like seal. It's literally just the gap in the plastic right there. You can almost see that there's like a little gap there. <clears throat> but I figured I would take this time to explain the working principle of this. Uh, since they got rid of all the tubes to try to make it cleaner and it's just this big manifold, but basically uh, tap water comes into here and then it goes down and it goes over and this should be another pressurized input um, at like 15 PSI to 40 PSI coming in and it's gonna feed into this and then it's gonna go ahead and feed into a filter and then it's gonna come out and it's gonna go in to this 24 volt pump, which has a minimum input of 15 PSI, and it'll output it at 75 PSI. And then this output from the tank goes into here, and then it feeds into a, and then it feeds into the filter in the front of it, and then shoots back out. So I'm gonna loop that again. So this is labeled tap water and water is going to flow into this then it's going to flow out go into the pump come back at high pressure into this C filter then it's going to go out into this filter right here and then it gets separated into t two outputs which would be like for the tank and for the um, faucet and then this is the brine output it's the this pressure sensor right here that takes the water going into the reverse osmosis system and checks it. If this uh, sensor is uh, does not detect enough pressure, it goes ahead and opens up that solenoid valve. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right now and you're going to see what happens with the pressure sensor tank. So we're going to, so you can see it immediately starts leaking water there. And a little bit of water is going to come out of here. So now our output is still closed. So why don't I go ahead and plug this guy in? The pressure is going to build, and then it's going to shut off. 
and, and it flushes the system with the city water and then it f fully turns off the valve. So it does a good job at flushing itself and it works with that pressure sensor and if I go ahead and open this up I've now undone that and the system automatically turns on again. The first thing it does is flush a bunch of the city water just straight kind of straight through and then it'll pick up and the output will start kicking in from the pump and that'll start producing the clean water but you can see there's my leak on this what looks to be very proprietary fitting right at a soldered on junction spot but I figured I'll just use this as an explan it's a time to explain this video a little more. So you have your two city water inputs going into here. And then there is a control valve um, at the input and output of that filter. So it kind of goes in, control valve, filter out of the filter through here into this pump. And then the output is here, which travels in and out of this filter and then goes this way pressure sensor control valve and the reverse osmosis I don't necessarily um, have the exact timing for the valves to determine which is opened and closed in what order <clears throat> but that's not really necessary it's just kind of an interesting uh, design aspect for this guy here and if I go ahead and close this it all it shuts off pretty quick so as soon as it's full it doesn't keep running it does keep running uh, the city water for like another 10 seconds just to filter it through so I'm pretty impressed with the machine output it's exceptionally quiet when it runs um, and I've, the filter replacements are really easy you just lift this up and it kind of pops outwards there's little rubber gaskets on there and you just put it back in push it in close it that's it so super fast and easy really nice construction I have nothing to say bad about it and I'm excited for the next one to arrive but I gotta wait eight long days for that if you take the top off of the plug uh, it's just hooked directly up to the incoming water line so there's actually two tap water inputs here and then two pure water outputs That's actually kind of useful for me. Don't have any more to say about it. Everything is just kind of made out of a single piece of molded plastic. Same with the manifold in the back. I bet that really um, reduced costs.